Hello class, today I am making a very short video on how to do the peer mark assignment that I've required from you. Uh, notice the first link here is the Turnitin link where I ask you to submit your draft. Unfortunately, that kind of Turnitin assignment will not work with peer mark. So um, while I could see the beauty of your drafts, it did not help us with the other assignment. So I made a new link here. You can ignore this, but just so you know, what I did was I resubmitted your drafts into that assignment. It's also a Turnitin assignment, but a different kind. And then this link, the third one, is the one that you want for the peer mark assignment. So you can give feedback to your fellow students on their literature reviews. So you're going to click on that. Um, I've turned this turned to student mode, so I'm hoping that my screens will look like your screens. However, if there are differences, just try and work with it. Um, you should get something similar to this, where it gives you the start date, the due date, the post date. The very important thing is to write the reviews. It should be in dark gray, not the light gray like over here. So we click on Write Reviews, and honestly, I have not bothered to take anyone's name off their papers because there are only four of us in the class. I bet we can figure out who has done which paper. Um, now you can see that I've already started work on Tabitha. So when I click on the Incomplete button, it's going to take me back to the work that I've already done in Peermark. You can see that I've done 20% of the work required. So on the left hand side we have her title page because she's writing an APA, her introduction, and then she goes into this. Um, what I want you to do is read carefully and you can mark for grammar or anything else that you see that might not be correct. Um, all you do is click, then you can add a comment in the box, um, save it so that she can see it later, or if you accidentally click, which I do all the time, and I don't need the box, you just click cancel and it will go away. Um, but you can see here at the top, I've already put a comment here, she can roll her mouse over that and see, I think this is great. Okay, the part that's uh, um, really part of your grade is the questions over here on the right hand side. Um, with each question it will tell you how many words you have to put um, and it's really not that I'm being nitpicky this is something that Turnitin requires of me so I just had to make stuff up. So number of sources used in the lit review this is pretty easy to figure out because you're going to be looking for parentheses with an author's name and the year like we have here. Um, so if you'll go through and count them make sure that they are all unique or the ones you are counting are unique. We don't want just one source cited 20 times. But how many sources were actually used in the lit review? And as you know, the um, minimum is 20. All right, then number two, you'll see that you have to write 10 words minimum um, because I do want you to give um, detailed constructive criticism that's going to help your fellow writers improve their papers. So please, um, answer these in a very detailed way. What's the overall organization? Do you see any sections that fall outside of that structure? Be sure to let the student know which section it was. You can mark it over here, you know, as, okay, this part didn't fit, um, and tell them why. So that it could be that really it just needs a little tweaking to fit in, or maybe they just need to take that section out. Um, so you'll go through and answer all these questions. Uh, you want to list at the end three things the author did well, three things that would make the lit review stronger, and then there are buttons here at the top to save. So if you're only halfway through and you need to stop, as I did earlier, you'd click save. Um, when you're at the end, I would advise that you click save just to be safe, and then click submit, and that will turn it in to peer mark. Now it's not going to let me do that because I have only done 20%. I haven't completed the whole thing. So you need to make sure you complete everything. When you do that then it's going to take you back um, where you can start writing reviews for the second and third papers. Once they're all done, um, after the post date, which you can see is the 16th, you'll be able to come in and read reviews will be dark gray, and then you can read all the comments and answers to the questions that your fellow students put. Thank you for doing this assignment. Thank you for doing it with integrity and with compassion toward your fellow students, and I will see you in class. Thank you.